I'm going to hit a little bit on something called Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System, or MACRS. Uh, this is covered on page 386 of your textbook. Uh, the IRS dictates how assets are depreciated for income tax purposes. Okay, so they had they invented MACRS back in 1987. It was the last major, major overhaul of the tax code uh, prior to the, the 2017, uh, uh, whatever they call that, Trump, Trump tax law is what I call it. The uh, MACRS is, a, is an accelerated depreciation system, and it's actually pretty complicated. But we're going to dumb it down for for BADM 211 and, and such. If you're a real accountant, you have to know how to apply it. But we ain't real accountants. We're users of accounting information. Uh, let's just assume that our uh, our bulldozer or skip loader here in this case is what we call a seven-year asset. What that means is that over an eight year period, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a seven year asset is depreciated over eight years. The idea being is that the first year is a half year and the last year being a, a, a half year. So half a year here, half a year here, and then six other whole years makes seven years. I didn't invent this crap. All right, so the percentage is 14.29%, to 4.49%, 24.49%, 17.49%, and I'm just copying these out of the textbook, 12.49%, Eight point nine something or other. You get old, you can't read this stuff. And make sure that adds up to 100%, and it does. Okay. So what that means is, of the five years, we, and of the five years we use the bulldozer, we use these depreciation percentages times the cost, and we ignore salvage value. So the cost here would be $150,000, what we paid for the bulldozer. And so that would be the depreciation expenses for income tax purposes. That'd be the deduction that we could claim. Now, tax is a lot more complicated than that. So we're, we're going to keep it simple. But if we were to compare that, this is MACRS. If you compare that to straight line depreciation, remember that was $18,000 a year. And with the double declining balance, Well, it's easier to calculate this. DDB cost was 150. The salvage was 60. The life was five. Now, with either of these two, the straight line or the double declining, we'd have the exact amount of depreciation to take the bulldozer's book value to exactly $60,000. Notice that 
with the accelerated for tax purposes depreciation, we'd actually take too much depreciation. The government wants you to do that. They want you to depreciate it faster to reduce your income tax expenses. By reducing your income tax expenses, you have more money to spend on workers or buy new plant equipment and stuff like that. So anyway, that's what MACRS is. You should be familiar with the concept. You just apply the MACRS percentages times the cost, and that gives you the MACRS or the for tax purposes depreciation each year.